Welcome, 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 welcome to another video with me, Vintage Barbie Claire. <clears throat> now, I will begin. Today, we see the return of uh, the spinny spinny wheel. That is right. I've left everything on it, including the thing that I opened the other day. So actually, I should probably take that off, shouldn't I? Which was uh, Diana's gift, wasn't it? Diana's gift. Although I don't have a cloth with me, so I, oh, I'm sure I used the um, the right marker pen. I'm sure I did. Anyway, if it lands on Diana's again, we know I've already done that. So I just don't make it be more fun. And uh, yeah, let's crack on. Can we remember what we say, everybody? Can we remember? Spin the wheel, watch it go. Where it lands, nobody knows. Uh, are we wanting a soft spin or a fast spin? What was that? Oh, a soft one today. That's interesting. Okay. Soft spin. Here we go. <gasps> it's landing on Stardoll. Oh, that's very exciting. Just to prove it does say Stardoll. I'll just show you there. It does say Stardoll. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do first is I'm going to unbox the Stardoll, um, which I thought I had ready somewhere. Bear with me one second. I've just got to remember where I put it. Um, um, oh, it's back there. It's back there. One second. I'll just have you looking at that whilst I have a quick look for where I put it. One second, please. Here we go. Okay, I have got her from the pile of goodies. So this is the Stardoll. I don't know how familiar you are with them, um, but this is her. Boom! She's one from my collection who has been waiting to get to D-Box. She was a gift from Colin um, maybe a year ago, something like that, maybe a year ago. Um, they were dolls that I wasn't massively familiar with until um, I looked into them a bit more. So they're called Star Dolls. They are by Barbie, by Mattel. They have real rooted lashes and their outfits are pretty amazing. And it was some kind of a club they used to do where you could get a membership and collect rewards to buy things to maybe dress up your characters online. I'm not entirely sure. If you know, let me know. I have previously had one other star doll, um, which um, was a girl who I think had been rebodied. And I gifted her to Tanya, friends with Barbe, and she uses her quite frequently on her page. So if you have a look... Tanya has another star doll. Um, I just thought this girl was absolutely gorgeous. She's one of those that when I saw her at the time, I think I put her on watch and then Colin bought her for me. Um, but isn't she gorgeous? So she's definitely not staying in the box because I want to use her. I would like to rebody her as well, but I want to show you first the actual box and how it's set up like a little wardrobe or closet inside. You can see the details there at the bottom about joining the club. Uh, I did try to join, obviously it's not active anymore. Um, and we get Star Dollars included. So it says Star Doll is the world's most popular online community. Well, I never. For teen and tween girls. Okay, so I'm too old for it anyway, even if it was still active. If you love shopping, fashion design, decorating, and making new friends, yes, I do, um, from everywhere. And making new friends from everywhere, you are already a star doll. Okay. Uh, now with Star Doll by Barbie, you can take the Star Doll online experience out into the real world too. Become the ultimate stylist for your own Star Doll by Barbie, mixing and matching her trend setting original fashions and accessories. Use your gift card inside to unlock a one week superstar membership on the site with exclusive online content just for Star Doll by Barbie. And go shopping in the Star Plaza with Star Dollars, which are included. Well, that's cool. So it sounds like then the website came out before the online doll aspect came out before they brought out the dolls. And the they're actually quite hard to get hold of. But there is a, a lineup of them just showing there on the back. Obviously, they're the um, not the actual images. They're the what we call like the computer generated images of them, like the online version, I'm guessing. Um, but she's just gorgeous. I thought she was really gorgeous. So the year for this doll is 2011. Um, yeah, so 
I'm gonna crack on and open her up. Um, maybe should have brought some scissors over, shouldn't I? That might have helped. And you know what I'm like for editing videos, so bear with me one second. Coming back, I'm coming back. I've got my trusty scissors that don't actually work, work very well at all. Um, I've just had lunch, so I'm conscious I might have some bits in my tea, so I do apologise. Right, let's see. Let's see. Is she easy enough? There's quite a lot of tape on her. Oh my days, this is pretty Oh, there we go. There we go. We're in now. We are in. Okay, so I quite like the box, to be honest. All her specs all the way around with the lovely gold sort of branding on it. Designed clearly not to come out very easily. It's got these little bits pushed in at the side that stop you from moving it out. Right, there we go. There we go. Yes. So that's the box now, the first specs bit with Stardoll on the side. And I just felt it was maybe a little bit dusty then. This is her out of the box on her back card. And what I probably should do is stop the video, take her out, and then come back to you because I think this. Oh no, actually, it looks like it might be quite straightforward. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No, I think I should probably stop the video and then come back to you. One second. Right, I have now unboxed her and I have brought her back to show you in all her glory. Boom, how gorgeous is she? Absolutely gorgeous. So, she obviously doesn't have a fully articulated body in terms of made to move because she's one of the older Barbies, but um, her body kind of reminds me a little bit of model news style. So she's got a bit of sort of, I just realised I'm feeling the bottom there, um, a bit of sass about the sort of pose that she's in. Um, but her outfit is amazing and she's so pretty. She actually reminds me a little tiny, tiny bit of the Jennifer Lawrence Barbie from Hunger Games on her face. See if you can see that as well. So I'll take her off the stand anyway. It's an unusual stand as well, just on its own, um, because it has a weird sort of, it's done sideways, unless I've put it on wrong, it's pointing that way. And I think that was already affixed to it in the box. Yeah, there is only one way that can go on. That's very weird. Uh, and the stand says Star Doll on it as well, which is very cool. Um, and this is the girl. Right, so I'll try and show you her face. Focus, focus. If you can see how beautiful she is. She's got real rooted lashes, gorgeous sort of burgundy lipstick, beautiful red hair, which does need a little bit of sorting, but actually the length of it doesn't feel like there's any product in it. And it's only the front bits of her fringe that feel like they've got some product in. Um, so you can just see that. Oops, dropped a bag. So she comes with this cute little bag which is fixed in position like this so you can't extend the strap it is supposed to be like that so you can just hook it over a hand she's got red painted nails which are very cute quite large hands if i'm honest i love her shoes i think we need to sort of tease out the heels because they seem to have bent from when she was in the box if you see what i mean but they're really cool boots i love her outfit as well her outfit's just so cool so a little sort of uh jacket i was gonna say bomber jacket it's not a bomber jacket a little just a little satin jacket it's very cute um with the ruche detailing to match the dress and a little necktie and then the jacket i assume comes off gotta be careful with these poppers 
to reveal a beautiful red dress. Oh, that's very pretty indeed. So that's the dress she's got underneath, which is actually really nice, isn't it? Just taking the strap off her shoulder there. Which is really pretty, isn't she? I really like the outfit. Very nice indeed. Um, so, yes. Oh, doesn't seem to be much movement in her legs. I didn't... Well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So she can maybe move them out, but can't move them too far because of the dress, but doesn't seem to be able to go that way, but can go that way. Okay, but gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I would actually contemplate, I think, rebodying her head because I think she's super pretty. I love the outfit. The outfit is so cool. Yeah, so I'm very happy with her indeed. So thank you, Colin, for buying me this girl again um, and I say I'm sure I've had her about a year but she's just been patiently waiting to be deboxed so she's lovely um just spat a bit then that's not attractive is it seems to happen quite a lot maybe I've got a problem maybe it's just talking maybe it's my sign not to talk <laughs> who knows I'm trying to make a stand this is a very weird stand what have I done wrong here because that's supposed to go around her waist like that, but then she's not standing sort of flush on the, the stand. I'm sure I've done something wrong. Somebody can tell me, I am sure. So anyways, that is her on the stand. Oh, she's so pretty. Do her jacket back up. Pop this in one of her hands for now. Which way? That way, maybe? Maybe that way, there. And apologies for any sound you might hear in the background. I've got the windows open because it's quite warm today. Um, no, it's not happening, Claire. What are you doing? Ah, that's better. Well, it's hanging out to the side of it. What if I do it that way? Will that work? I realise this is very, um, not overly exciting for you. That will do, that will do. you get the idea anyway. Um, oh, and then it comes off. It's very odd about the legs not moving forward and back. It's very strange. But she's very pretty, isn't she? Yes, so we'll just stick it on any old way at the moment so that at least it's on her hand. I don't like it, the fact it's not laying flat. Do I need to... There, you get the idea. It's not right, I know, but you get the idea. She's so pretty. I'm trying to make her look down a bit, but not wanting to so that was the first unboxing off our wheel of delight for today oh yes star doll a ba -ba bear so shall we spin the wheel again because we've got time for another video oh i need a i need a rubber i've not got a rubber thing anyway ready steady i'm just gonna do a hard one now go Ooh, what's it stopped on it's stopped on <gasps> nendu brazil oh yes i got loads of goodies from nendu brazil um, now, admittedly, I've not written down who these are all made by, but um, she has told me who they are made by, so I will link them in the caption below to save me. Well, maybe should I just stop and do another video so that I can tell you when I show you them who's made them? I'll do that, I'll be sensible, I'll be organised. Take two. Uh, today is actually yesterday's tomorrow um, because I filmed this yesterday when I filmed the unboxing of the Barbie, um, got it completely wrong, got really annoyed with myself, ran out of time and just thought I'm just going to have to do it tomorrow, which is now today. So yeah, huzzah, we're on today now. Um, right, so the lovely Nendu Brazil, whose name is Ellie, and I hope I've pronounced that correct, Ellie. I don't think there's much room for getting that wrong, or I'm hoping there's not anyway. Um, gifted me some clothes at the London Doll Meet, and these are those clothes, and I've got the account names written down, so I'm prepared, organised, ready today to get this correct. Now, I will share these again properly when they're actually styled on a Barbie, but I just wanted to show you today these beautiful gifts that she's given me of handmade doll clothes, and they are amazing. So if I do it in order of what I've written them, I can't get it wrong. The first thing says red, and this says Talita dolls. So the red, assuming, means that, because the other one's got a bag in it. So uh, this first gift package of Barbe and Kenware 
is by Talita Dolls. And again, I hope I've pronounced that correctly. I'll show you. There's no point showing you like this because it's back to front, isn't it? I will just tag the account below afterwards. So firstly, an absolutely gorgeous dress. And I don't know why, but for some reason, this is kind of giving me midge vibes. I don't know if it's the colour or what, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, I would say, probably standard fit Barbie. The detailing on it, though, is immense. It's absolutely beautiful print, um, like a floral print. And if you look at the end of these like little puff sleeves, it's actually elasticated at the ends. Just absolutely beautiful. So it's going to be the most gorgeous fit on the arms. Beautiful V-neck there, um, sort of like a, a faux sort of crossover effect. And then at the bottom, it's got gorgeous tiny pleats in it. It's absolutely incredible. So that is a, um, I'm lost for words this morning. My brain isn't functioning. What is the word I'm looking for? Velcro fastening at the back for ease of putting on and off. Um, gorgeous lilac colour with pretty pink flowers. And it's just beautifully finished. The stitching on it is incredible. And also in the same package from the same seller, Talita Dolls, are these amazing shorts, which again, I'm pretty sure are Barbe shorts. Um, they are just so cute. Look at the tiny detailing on the front there, that little jewel there. And it's got real pockets. Yes, not one, but two. And they are functional pockets. Can you just see them? <laughs> yes. I love the print on them. Again, Velcro at the back for ease of putting on and off. Beautifully finished. Like the, the stitch work on it is incredible. So neat. And they look like they're going to be an amazing fit on Barbie as well. So they are gorgeous. Just beautifully finished. Love those. But I especially love the fabric on those. Absolutely amazing. I've got the shakes this morning. I'm not entirely sure why because I haven't picked anything heavy up to my knowledge. Maybe it's the way I was led last night. Maybe it's just because I realised how much of an idiot I was for doing this all yesterday and getting it completely wrong. Anyways, moving on. Look at the vest. So I'm pretty sure this is a Ken vest, unless Barbie wants oversized. Again, Velcro at the back. Beautiful, soft sort of cotton material with a bit of giving it again. So if Ken wants to have the pies, Ken can have the pies because his vest is still going to fit him. So the vest, pair of shorts which, as I say, they're gorgeous. I love the pockets. I just love shorts um, on Barbie. I just think they're such a versatile little piece that can go with various colours uh, or a simple plain white vest, I think, maybe with those. And this gorgeous, I want to say it's giving me midge vibes. Not really sure why. You tell me if you think this gives you mid midge vibes. I'm guessing because it maybe has some similarity to the style of dress that midge had on. Um, like pregnant midge I'm thinking of. Obviously this isn't for pregnant Barbie, um, but just gorgeous. So those were Talita dolls. So thank you again, Ellie. The second package is this one. Checking my list, blue is Closet Fashion Dolls is a play suit. So Closet Fashion Dolls have made this absolutely gorgeous crochet play suit slash jumpsuit, whatever you want to call it but beautiful blue crochet with the lovely tie strings for behind the neck. And then on the back, it's got the drop back and a little metal popper for ease, she says, with no nails. <laughs> so it's very easy to get on and off that. Absolutely love it. That's just so cute. So I want to get that on Barbie ASAP. Love that. So that was Closet Fashion Dolls. Um, and the last package, but a package full to bursting of goodies, is by this account here. You can just see their little branding in there. And again, I hope I pronounced this correctly, Ronelia underscore RB. So that's Ronelia underscore RB. But I will link the account below um, just to make sure I don't get anything wrong. And this is a package full of goodies. Oh my days. Okay, so... Again, I have to make mention, I'm just keeping an eye on the dogs as well, they have got shoes, um, is the packaging for all of these items is just gorgeous. To me, I know it, it may seem not important to some, but just the way that things are packaged when they come in a clear pack with the beautiful card at the back, it just excites me. I think it just levels up the whole 
dollware game, don't you? Yes, and you can reuse them for other things. Um, so the first thing this bag is, ooh, ooh this is gorgeous, is a beautiful long line summer dress could also come into autumn and winter with a cardigan over the top but it comes with this which i am going with is that a belt or a hair tie i think you could probably use it for either so you can either have it as a belt across the waist there which i'm guessing it looks like that's how it's been tied originally um so kind of like that and it's the most gorgeous fabric or you could always wear it as a hair tie or even a neck scarf so multiple uses for this accessory beautiful but anyway the fabric is a lovely soft cotton it's even got like a ruche detail at the back where it's had elastic sewn into it I don't know if you can make that out but can you just see that focus 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 um, it's just gorgeous beautifully stitched again lovely floral material super soft and stretchy i think that probably will fit multiple sizes of dolls but it's probably um intended for curvy uh, for standard sorry got curvy on the brain that's because i was at slimming well the other night and <laughs> put on half a pound but i just managed to stop the video <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not with it today. Can you see the bags under the eyes? This is what going back to the crazy early mornings is now with the school run. Um, poor Zach has to get the bus to school, which I know loads of kids do, but we don't um, have a vehicle anymore. So it kind of is a necessity. And unfortunately, the actual school bus service doesn't come near to us. So he has to leave <laughs> like quarter past seven in the morning and school doesn't start till like 8 35 which I just really feel for him because the bus journey isn't like it wouldn't take him that long to get there but it's just the timings of the buses so I get up with him uh, about six and it's a killer <laughs> since the luxury of the summer holidays um it's tough going back to it again so anyway just heading back to this beautiful dress again lovely long summer dress floral print with what I'm guessing was the belt, but could also be used as a neck scarf or also a hair tie. Um, it's just gorgeous. I love it. Lovely stretchy material. So again, if Barbie wants all the pies, or in this case at the moment, all the Krispy Kreme Barbie donuts, she can. Yes. Um, so that one was to, don't make a mistake Claire, Ronelia underscore RB. As are these items as well, which look like these are Ken boxer shorts. These are amazing. Or some of you may call them underpants or undergrants or underspants or ooh, lovely look at these i've got two pairs of ken underpants i don't have anything like this these are amazing love the fabric so this one's got like little skateboards on skateboard helmet and some headphones so they would actually be quite good for like a teen ken and these ones got smiley faces on and squiggles a little bit sort of 80s vibe lovely and stretchy again so ken will be all good for the pies if he wants them um and could also team them up with this and then i have a little outfit there for ken yes so these are underpants for ken super stretchy love the fabric they're very cool in indeed so again they're by the same uh maker ronelia yeah. underscore rb and i have a beautiful handmade bag by the same seller thank you ellie again for the gifts Oh, this is very cute indeed. So it's in a gold fabric, um, sort of like leatherette feel with a bit of uh, sparkles in there. How cute is that little messenger style, maybe crossbody with a handle on the top and it's functional. Oh yes, look at that. We can open it up. How cute is that? Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that a lot. So a sparkly detailing on it for a night out. Also does for daytime for the office to fit her goodies in, uh, pack lunch if she wants, and her diary, and the little carry handle on the top, which I love. Very cute indeed that, very well made, very cute. So again, Ronelia underscore RB, and the last item from this amazing creative seller is this, probably my favourite piece. How beautiful is that? So a little bra. Um, it is elasticated, so super easy to put on. And the most amazing feature of this is the cups on them um, appear to be padded. So it's almost like a tiny wonder bra for Barbie. But the gorgeous fabric there, like a lacy fabric. And as I say, these are padded. Um, 
they're just it's just gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous absolutely beautiful so barbie can have a little push-up wonder bra by gossard uh, but in actual fact it's not it's by ronelia rb but it's beautiful isn't it absolutely gorgeous so i will show you the branding in case you're wanting to find this seller because there's some little things popped in there uh, if you're going to find their ig i can't read this one to you because i believe it is in another language and my eyesight is terrible anyway but what I do understand from it is RB, Ronelia RB, Ru Ping has a accessorios para Barbie. Uh, get the full Barbie bit. So accessories for Barbie, that's what I'm going with. Um, so I will link this seller below. So this seller has created these beautiful underpants for Ken, undergrants. Um, this beautiful bralette push-up bra for Barbie. This really is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. A beautiful handbag. Lovely, sparkly, functional. That's the most important thing. We can use it. Uh, and this gorgeous dress as well, which as I say, has got the lovely detail in there on the back and the belt. And then the next seller is the person that has created these beautiful good days. And this one was... Talita dolls and the final seller was the person that created the beautiful little play suit jumpsuit shorts jumpsuit I will call it play suit closet fashion dolls and they were all gifted by Ellie of Nendu Brazil so thank you so much Ellie um whilst I'm doing this video um I wanted to say a thank you as well to another wonderful account um and her account name is Melissa Barbie and Bo and her name is Gianni and she very kindly gifted me some amazing items last year and the year before um I have said thank you previously but I thought because I was actually starting to get some of them out finally that's how long it takes me sometimes to use things in the correct dioramas um these fashion packs um, and I don't know if anybody else keeps these, but they're very cool just on their own. Yeah. Um, so I keep the actual um, things in a drawer full of other things. Um, so if maybe um, I want to go out sometime to a doll meet, that's Barbie and Mindy. That means the postman's on his way. Hey, 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 hey. Whoop. Thank you. Good girls. Um, that's how we do it. Well, show me up now. Um, they're great for doll meets and doll day trips out for putting all your accessories in. Barbie! 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 Anybody that has a dashend will understand this. Mindy's being quiet now and it's Barbie that's barking, so she's clearly seen something walking past. Um, yes, yeah, so what I've been doing is taking... <laughs> taking out the items from the fashion packs um ready for styling but they're just so cool so this was an outfit for ken in one of them this was one of the barbie outfits um and then loads of tiny things which i love um this is only some of the tiny things so i get these out and then i decide either what diorama they're going into or what relevant boxical of delight for accessories to go into um and that is where they get stored so i just wanted to say thank you again to gianni and also share some of her gorgeous knitwear and crochet because she's just the most creative person i know and it even has her own tags in it so this again i hope i get this correct was known as the parachute top um and it's got her little label inside as well beautiful leather label so you can see her name there so this is melissa barbie and bow and i think she has a separate account for some of her beautiful knitting and crochet and crafts so please do check her out but it's the coolest little sort of shrug poncho throw over just in the most amazing colors um, and this little one that she'd done me which was another little um scarf shawl beautiful i think i had it inside out there apologies 
Um, I know crafters sometimes will um, get a bit peeved if you show things with what they class as the ugly side, even though there is no ugly side, but I realised there I was showing you the seam. Um, so I've just uh, covered them. I'm sure she wouldn't care, but I've had it previously. So I just want to make sure I show it in its best possible light. Uh, and this, this is one of my favourites. It's in such a delicate, soft, silky... Um, material i don't know whether i would call it wool or not um but this is like a crocheted shrug sort of oversized cardigan which is just gorgeous and i love the blue i love that color and i've got another one that i'm going to show you now because i've styled it ready to go so that's what i'll do now um so that's gianni and she is from melissa barbie and bow so please do check out her account because she's super lovely and i want to show you these while i've got them out on the table ready to put away but I will also now flip the camera and show you the doll that you will have already seen unboxed from yesterday's video, which is part of this video being shared today, even though I did it yesterday, because um, she's in a little diorama I set up the other day. And one of the fashion packs that Gianni gifted me, along with one of the beautiful cardigans that she's made as well. So I will try and show you that now, but you might have to just excuse the slide. <laughs> The slight mess that's going on behind me. So bear with me one second while I flip the camera around. And I'll try and find where the camera actually even is on my phone. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Hang on one sec. Hang on one sec. Uh, yes, you'll just please just excuse the mess as I whip around super quick. Boom. Wrong way. Right way now. So this is one of the fashion packs that this girl has on with the gorgeous cardigan made by Gianni in a beautiful black wool, but super tiny stitching slash um, knitting slash crochet on this gorgeous, gorgeous little cardigan and the whole fashion pack she's got on including the bag all came from Gianni and then this is the girl I unboxed in yesterday slash today's video um, inside a little diorama that I've set up on one of the shelves because I quite fancy getting all the tiny handbags well some of the tiny handbags out and on display and there's uh, Dasha's t-shirt I used at the weekend um, along with the cool pants that were made by Zane at Dolled Up by Zane. Um, my Ken car, the Hot Wheels one, which was a gift from Vicky, Free Floof Looks. Um, and quite a few of Cassie's handbags there from Mimi's Dolls World. Um, quite a few of these uh, larger ones that are like the Birkins were made by Puppin Clyde von Seelen. Um, again, I can link her account below, but quite a lot of these are Cassie's. <laughs> Um, and some made by Winder as well. Um, and yes, she is the doll from yesterday. Isn't she gorgeous? Uh, and the funny thing is that Colin actually said to me, is she going to get a new body? So he is now quite well versed in the whole rebodying process, which I thought was quite sweet. On that, the cutest little Minnie Mouse bag. Um, and that is made by Dolls Fashion Vita. And that was a gift. Uh, I love it. Love, I love my little handbags. Uh, yes, so I just wanted to share that with you. Um, she's just super cute. She's super cute. I've been having issues with her hair. So this is like round three of treatment to try and get rid of glue head, which really surprised me because I didn't think the Fashionista line were that bad, but she is particularly bad. And those cute little slippers that it's not Ira, it's Ira <laughs> from Heart of Flesh Dolls made for me. Uh, just cute. I just love it. I love this little setup. I think it's nice for taking photos in. So anyway, yes, that was today's video. So a massive thank you to Gianni from Melissa, Barbie and Bo. Also to the super lovely Ellie from Nendu Brazil. And my husband, as always, for being super supportive. And for purchasing this girl for me. Who has been waiting for, I'm pretty sure, over a year now to be deboxed. So finally she is free. Uh, so until next time. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I don't think I can spin this round. I don't know how you do it. Um, so yeah, I just I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in that tiny mirror there next time. Bye!